In this quick video, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to factor a trinomial. And this one is a little bit different than the other videos you may have seen because your a value is a value other than 1. So in this case, our a value is 3. The process of factoring the diamond method, the xbox method, it's still the same, but I just wanted to show you a different example. So when you set up your diamond method, draw your x. And at the top, as always, you find the product of your a and c value. So our a value here is 3, our c value is 3, so 3 times 3 gives you a value of 9. At the bottom of the x, you're going to write your b value. The b value is the number or the coefficient in front of x. That would be 10. So now you need to think of two factors that have a product of 9 but have a sum of 10. Hopefully you're thinking of these two numbers. Next, we're going to go ahead and make our 2 by 2 box to do the x box method. So in this upper left corner, you're going to write the 3x squared term. In the lower right corner, you're going to write your c value, which is 3. And then in the other two empty boxes, you're going to write these two factors along with the variable. So this will be 9x and this will be x. So in your first row, try to think of a common factor. That would be x. In your first column, try to think of common factors between these two terms. That would be 3x. So 3x times x will give you 3x squared. Ask yourself, 3x times what will give me 9x? That would be 3. Then you, then you can ask yourself, 3 times what will give you 3? That would give you 1. And then finally, 1 times x gives you x. So we have our binomial 3x plus 1 on the top, and we have our binomial x plus 3 on the bottom. So when you write it in factored form, it looks like that. 